So when somebody says, for example, you know, make strong choices, what does that mean to you? Uh, first, it's just, you know, it's really just reading. I'll read something several times mm -hmm. and I'll just, I, I really want to try and understand what the writer is saying, first of all, mm -hmm. just in terms of theme, you know, and how it relates to the culture, to the time. What, 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 what's he saying? What's, what's this about? And then from there on, I'll just break it down and uh, I'll break it down line by line, scene by scene, then line by line. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, whatever, you know, if, I, if it comes down to a line or something the character's trying to say or what he's trying to do, it's really about, for me, just making a choice about, have, in, in terms of how it serves the greater theme of the piece, of the story, right. and what the writer's trying to do, because after all, that's what we're, what's it, what we're doing. But also, so you see, you see all of the pieces. You yeah. understand what your part in in that whole thing is, and then you make choices that support right the 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 uh, the whole that support the whole that support what the writer's trying to say, what thematically what he's trying to get across, mm -hmm. and then even then, not getting at a certain point, I I won't even get attached to that because. I don't want to put myself, I don't want to paint myself in a quarter, corner in terms of how I'm going to say a line or how that's yeah. going to be, how that's going to come out. I want it to come out. I want to do all that work and then I want to work with the actor and then I, so much of it is about trust um, that when I get across from an actor, I, I want to be on them. Mm -hmm. You know, so much about the method, why one of the things that was criticized for was these actors would get really internal. Mm -hmm. And they would, they were all, the, you know, Sanford Miser would also say, that, you know, these method actors are becoming so self-indulgent. And he uh, got really frustrated with that. He wanted you to turn, as Peggy and Bobby, to turn to the actor that you're now working with. Now you've done all this work mm -hmm. at home and you've rehearsed your lines, you've done all this stuff and you've... There's, think, you know, I, there's seven, eight different ways you can deliver a line, de depending on the choice that you made or choices. Mm -hmm. There can be sometimes more than one choice. But then at a certain point, I'll get across, if you and I were doing a scene and we're working together and you, you deliver a line to me, those choices might go right out the window, depending on how I respond now in the moment right. to what it is or how it is that you're saying that to me. And that's that's being really free and, and, and responding in a very authentic way. And I, that's, the, that's where the this sort of, you know, this kind of magic can happen. That's where the spontaneity happens. It's really incredible. No, you know? I think that's what's called the moment, you know, that, that's yeah. being present in the moment, what's happening right now, right here at this exactly. time. And it's not, to negate, it's not to negate all the work that you had done. Right. It's not, because now, because of all that work, you're responding, I'm responding to what it is that you're saying mm -hmm. as that character. Right. You know, I have this problem with, you know, performing as the character. Right. And the character's you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it. They, you know, unless you are, you know, you, you have serious mental problems, <laughs> emotional problems. Yeah. He is some, he is some aspect of your personality. That's right. That you need to identify with. And sometimes that's easier. And sometimes that's really difficult. Um, when I was working on this, on NYPD Blue, I was playing this cop from Queens who was considered to be a racist, and he butted heads with the, the, uh, the lieutenant on the show, um, Lieutenant Fancy, I think it was his name. Um, and I remember not having to do a lot of internal work with this character. Mm -hmm. I just knew him. I knew him really well. And so I didn't want to overwork it, because right. then I would get in my head. When I read it, it jumped off the page, and they're going to be, I think they're going to be characters that you're going to play like that where you're just going to all that work is just going to happen naturally because you identify with that character so much already to now sort of try to you know to try to do all this work around it it doesn't really it's not necessary it's, it's it doesn't really you don't really have to do it that character just sort of came through me in a very natural way with someone it was someone that I identified with in, in, a, in a lot of ways mm -hmm. Other characters are not like that, and that work um, is needed, mm -hmm. you know, and that time is needed to sort of put into that to sort of where I can, I, I'll ask myself, what is, what part of me is this, this lives in this guy, or what part of this guy lives in me, mm -hmm. or does he at all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if he doesn't, you're like, oh shit, I got some work to do, right. you know, but usually it does, it, it, it does, it, it has to on some level. 
Um, and what your job is to do, what my job is to do, is sort of mine that territory. You know, mine that territory. Like, okay, that's that part of me. That's that part of me that's a racist, let's say. Mm -hmm. What part am, am I a racist? And what part of me is a little bit, if you're not a full blown, you know, Aryan nation, right. what part of me is mm, a little prejudiced? What part of me is a little angry at maybe other cultures for this, that, or the other? Right. And then taking that and looking at that objectively and kind of going, okay, how, how, you know, how can I, you know, that's sort of just simple sort of identification with allowing yourself to sort of find that place in you where that character lives. Well, there's a couple of things that are implied in what you're saying. By the way, we have a question. Yeah. Um, um, uh, I, I just don't want to lose the thread of what I'm thinking about. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to stay on this. I'm going to stay on this thread and then we're going to get to, we have a couple of questions that okay. just came up and we'll, we'll get to those. Um, what you're saying implies two very important things. Mm -hmm. One of the things that it implies is that you have to get to know yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's another whole another really, <laughs> really hard to do. Yeah. And it takes practice. It's not something that you just think about. You actually have to live with it and, mm. and put yourself in circumstances. And, and this is where the other really important part comes in, which is you cannot be judgmental. Right. You can't be judgmental of what you discover about yourself. That's right. Because then it's not available to you. No, and that's, that can be very hard because some of the things that you will find out about yourself, you might not like. Right. And most often, if you're being really honest with yourself, <laughs> you won't like them. We um, don't, we don't, let's not get into specifics. No, we, we, we don't have to, but you know, that's, I don't give a shit anyway. But um, I always thought, you know, there was uh, some periods of time in my, in my, my journey out here where I, I, I really thought that it wasn't going to happen for me. That's I went through some, the, the, the question that we have has to do with that. Okay. So, and let me ask the, hold the, yeah, that thought sure. right now. And let me ask the question, which is, sure.